Welcome one, welcome all. One more time here on your favorite show, Sankofa. Your host is Maponga J. With me in studio, Utata Uvilakazi, no sisi uyo London Dandala. On our way and on our path of seeking our spiritual spirituality, uh, both within the religious space, which is the Christian space, the Islamic space, and the greater African indigenous space. Challenges are everywhere. We have seen lots of scandals within our church spaces where people have been robbed of their money, sex scandals, and all sorts of shenanigan things happening there. Some people came up to me and they were harassing and lambasting me for being so hard on, on, on Christians. And they were actually saying I'm advocating for indigenous and African traditional healing and etc. What I advocate for could not be more important than the ethics and accountability of the people who are running these institutions. And so wherever wrong is found, whether it is within the church, within the Islamic space, or within the African indigenous uh, healing space, we must address, the, address those issues. And with me tonight, I have a wonderful, wonderful guest. We're going to be unpacking the greater journey of spirituality within the African cultural initiation schools. We have a lady with us here, Uyolanda, uh, Ukoko, Uyolanda Dandala, uh, who has her own experience. Let me not steal away and crack her thunder away. She will take us through what happens. Maybe before we even begin to what happened, let's start off with your spiritual journey. Where does it find you ultimately leading you to the initiation school? What had started happening in your life? Oh, well, the, to remember correctly, I was in grade 12. Mm. In grade 12, I would fall out of nowhere faint. And when I went to the clinic about it, they would say it's epilepsy. So it usually happened at school. So I was that weird child who's always at the sick room. You know? So me and my mom, she was really helpful in terms of trying to understand what is really happening to me. Mm. Master Skolwen, you know, back in those days, the Konimoyo Mubi, which was identified as Satanism. Mm. So my mom was very concerned, Uguti. What is going on with you? Mm. Do you have Satanism? Would it happen when you're around certain people or just... Even at home, at even home. at home, Baba, okay. you know, because I would fall down. I'm making noise, I'm crying, I'm screaming. You know, I have some power, I don't know where I took it from, but the moment... I wake up from fainting, I would have this aggressive energy and I would cry so much, not knowing what I was doing, you know? So one day, hey, one day, one evening, um, which a few days before that, there's a friend of mine, Oshala Langshala Kone, Palm Springs, who went to Ezangomen. So he had this amazing experience in Kidin and people sent him songs, Zezangom. Mm -hmm. So he made me listen to these songs and must telling apparently he would kind of demonstrate with the Wakita so the Wakita so and so we're doing it out of fun, you know, he's sharing songs with me. And I'm like, no, you know? So a few days later I decide to listen to these songs. I'm unbraiding my hair mm -hmm. and then I I connect my phone to a speaker. Mm. So I'm listening to the songs out loud. So Konalingo Malebe, it's Esa Bela Koko, Esa Bela Koko, Uya Visa, Uya Visa Sabela, you know? Yeah. So I keep playing that song, keep repeating you put it. it. On repeat. Yeah, I put it on repeat. Go back. You it's could, doing you could something. Con you could connect with it. Yeah, Nya Visa, Sabela Nya Visa, Nya Visa, Gupupa Tinje. It connected with me so much that I end up standing up and start moving, you know? Mm. Instead of me going, to actually switch off the radio mm. because I connected my phone to it. I don't do that. Nyakichima, all around the house. Mm. I can feel man, there's something mm. controlling mm. me mm. and I'm so scared with what it is, but I need to let it be. I need to let it happen. Mm. So now it's like I'm my things are jail. It's like the purpose of me standing up and dancing up and down. Meling puming omyango. Meling puming gates. But I try fight it. I'm like, no, I'm just going to run around the house. Mm. I'm crying. You want to uh, yeah. run out of the house. Yeah, I'm just running around the house, but something tells me, open the gate and, and run get out. out from where to? I don't know where to, as yet. I'm as Luto. So then my brother walks in and minds his own business. He doesn't really understand what's happening with me, but he can see something's wrong, but now I'm not there anymore. So, man, come on, gate. 
I fight again, I ran next door. For the first time next door my house, there was, there was no one, the house was empty. Mm. So I ran around the house, I'm like, okay, let me surrender, no one is here to, to help me. Then, Gapu Mike. In, in, in a busy afternoon where I'm a Basi, a Straten could have just knocked me out. It's like that day, I, could, I was running, I couldn't stop my feet, but Gabon, you know, I can mm. see, but Everyone is just minding their own business that day. It was like I was invisible from the world. No one tried to stop me. Nah, nah, against a galan, you know, because I was really they young just back then. I just ran, I just ran. And then when I wake up, I see familiar faces. It says Zango men lab. So you ran to a house here, Zango. With no direction. You I just, just ran. ran there. When I wake up from it, I'm wet. Sugut bang telling a man zikusegnugimpepo. You know, I don't understand what's happening. I see familiar faces who know who go along your mas go a kevele says and go main. You know, so luckily it was in the evening. My mom was coming back from work, mm. and then Uputam happened to run after me. Uglande. Anglande lugutin kichimanya, but he couldn't. Bamba, but at least he could see. We took a uchigela, uchigela. You know, so he called my mom, and then when I woke up, but no, your mom is coming. So when my mom came, I'm explaining. No, I'm done. I'm getting a lousy. Mm. So my mama expresses very good no man, we only ask you, Pamele. So I'm good to epilepsy, we are we are going to go to the moya. satanism, you know. E gungaba gungaba gushe. If ni na ni zangom, ning pegele numto anguti kasha shushu shayi, you know. So now she she reveals guti. Her sister was a traditional healer. Then I was seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. So my mom said four years, five years, her sister was like to her, I think Shailo Lumtani school is And then my mom was like, ay, 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 I'm still young, mm. you know. So when she found me in that situation, a part of her related. Mm. But she wanted to be sure, is it a maybe demonic spirit mm. or is it a traditional healing spirit? Mm. And that's how my journey began. Mm. So now you have, you've found yourself, your mama Okshia get up. You had to postpone this call and everything else and I, started. Luckily, I, I was 16, mm. my name's my matric. So just only the following year, that's, that's when, when that happened. So you were free at least. Yeah, I had a rough grade 12. I passed, luckily, I don't know wow. how, because I would faint, must by the exam, and people would make fun of me. Good time, low eyes of the exam. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So that's how my journey began. But I'm explaining good no as well as good to be able to move. Go beggars were Kela Zelala, the season Kulul, but who is saying is that losing, losing a law, the song gets squares, got to again. Minang Zom Tatang, you may say, Green young, I am lay a spread. Uzo Kneta, good to pay, um, done good to needles, Gamampella or not. Okay. And then the next morning, I was taken to a spread in a train and Lelo Petrolel, and that's where my journey began. The best way in the lab, mm. a spread. Mm -hmm. And how many were you in that school? Sure, we were a lot, eh? We were a lot of you. Like. <laughs> we were a supporting lot. school. Yeah, it was yeah. so many of us. Because when I got there, they had two groups at least. The first group, was, it was about nine of them. Second group, seven, six, you know, my group, I was the fifth one in my group when I... So my three league. groups almost. Yeah. And you know, with my camp group, eh? you know, and then along the journey, you know, so I ended up being number two in my group, but I think they see six, if not five. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, interesting. And so what happens in these schools? Hey, a lot happens. I know you're going to tell us everything. Not everything. But uh, yes. you can share at a high level. Maybe let me just say, <laughs> he is an indigenous uh, uh, healing uh, person and uh, spiritual person also with us. You, I think we can share some notes. We can share some notes. And uh, what happens in these schools of initiation? No, I mean, uh, to be quite honest, uh, in my chain of initiation, mm. which wasn't the easiest, mm. of course, for, for obvious reasons, mm. um, I wouldn't say I had experienced so much uh, abuse. Mm. I feel it was, young can think experience it was something even necessary. Mm. Which is, is, is breeding our fruits even now. Mm. Yeah, it's not easy. Mm. It's not the, the easiest things you can do in life. In. However, uh, I had learned, uh, I, I, would, I would quote out the positives that I could, because mm. the negatives would be, um, so people would take that as, as abuse. Mm. Because the 14 is a norm. It's, it's a norm, it's a norm, not so much, it's a norm, it's a norm, it's a norm, it's a norm, 
Epiphany is it's um seven zulos, um seven zulos, um seven zulos. So one over three, number two, number one. Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 part of the journey. It can also look to us and have a lap. Okay. Yeah. Sing I and I get see that is see modernize the scenes the ubu ubu western and what not see. Yeah. The pressure, the pressure. The pressure, the pressure. And the 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 way go go to us on a corner. Finally, we began jalo. For good now, mo pu mo pu mo u u u u mundo pele. Whether be it uzo pu mo be nyanga or uzo pu mo we misum same kaya ube utreni gili kuteshi gila pele. Yeah. So for me now, I, I, I took out more of my positives from Ubun Zimeng to Lugubo more than anything. Okay. Hence, hence now me right now, Mumuntu to Asisai. And I mean, I've never had it to I've, I've, I've always had female Yama to us. Most of them would be a bit older than me. I've only had like two, Abanyanik Nam, female people. So, Ugushoni Pagwa, Mufundi Sokshoni Pumsebenzi from a person made me not even now. Uguti see myself because uh, you're like a doctor. Yeah, I mean, you're like a doctor. Here you are. You ask a woman to take off your clothes, and if you, <laughs> and, and if you don't know what you're doing, you may you take advantage yeah. of some of these environments. Yeah. and people are already vulnerable. Yes, your people yes. are already sick. Yes, in some certain cases, people are already <laughs> at a, at a, at a, their will and their guards are a law. Because I mean, look at the example. If a young lady collapses and she faints, yeah, and she's yeah. there, and you are not ethical in your behavior, yeah. the question is, how do you begin to relate to that? Then that will take you back to yourself. Yeah. In terms of you are a young lady, you find yourself in this institution. How safe are some of these initiation institutions for the young girls? Yeah. It, it's a challenge, Baba, to tell you the truth. It's an extreme challenge because what I've picked up, you know, during my healing journey, I've discovered many, many other men, you know, Abangana, youth and women who get really molested and raped mm -hmm. and taken advantage of by Abu Kovela Babu. Mm -hmm. So me understanding that behavior... So it's more from the Govelas, not from your peers? No, 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 no. They, they may be sexual encounters within my peers, but I had to understand this in a very spiritual approach to it. You see, what is happening? There's certain energies and spirits and frequencies everyone needs to vibrate in that is so away from Ukanga, you know, sexually. Jared Lacona needs to set the tone for you la so automatically psychologically you adjust to it and you become that the energy as they are you know. So now I get to want to really scrutinize with what's happening. God calls us during your adolescent stage where everything is just heightened in your body, mm, yeah, you're now becoming a teenager, you're high. A brewing. Mm. And then more figure. These days, immediately, immediately. They don't wait the ten years of training from elders. They don't wait your five years of training from elders. Mm. As young as I am, what are we teaching each other? Mm. What are we training each other? Because when we you're also still learning. We, exactly, because most of these perpetrators, from my experience, from other survivors' experience, mm. I have a man, a 23-year-old can rape you. Say, Petrain, a 23-year-old young man is as capable of rape as my Petrain. Sasi man, they still young, mm. you know. So I had to really be wise into understanding. Good, okay, I am hurt. I'm bruised because I went through the same experience. Did you encounter some of this? I did encounter. That's why I'm so passionate about the work okay. that I'm doing in this topic. It's because I understand what I went through, and me breaking the silence and speaking out, and other survivors talking to me. I really had to broaden my experience mm. and my understanding of mm. my experience you would see you know and then at the same time getting into the darker side of it you'll understand Guti. some of my initiation schools had turned into cults sexual cults mm. you know the energy moya walapha where amathwasa akwazukuphupani ukuthi ngikuphupheni leli nawe izolo and it becomes a constant thing until <laughs> you're tempted to start engaging nando lo thwasa ngoba you see them in your dream mm. You understand because you're opening up all the spiritual portals. There's portals. And if your already. energies are more towards the carnal side, you transmit that up, and you can make it contagious to, to it's others. It's really more. easy, Baba, because more figure a person where good fellow get a sexual cult. Mm. You you utwasa in that environment of that energy. 
it becomes a tradition. That's why a rapist, Kulelo Pesho, Anga Ripa from 2009 until 2021. Continuously. Continuously. Every group he has his victim. Every group he has his victim. Inyange pet. Umutom kulo pet a lab. Because mina. You understand? Lang twasa kona umama. We numutom kul. So the school, you're the male gorilla. By a shy male gorillas who assist. Baba um kul, which is. So you did not suffer from the old man himself? The woman. No, it was a woman. The leader the of the initiation school was a, woman. was a woman. But the people that were around. Our training as. Oh, okay. Above, above, above fan. Oh, okay. You know, so for him to have a reputation, but does not put him to book. He continues from 2009 till 2021. He keeps doing the same thing each and every year he has his victim. What does that say? about that place. A tradition, you cannot tolerate every single year. Mm. And then you do nothing about it. Becomes it becomes a breeding ground. So it becomes abuse. a norm. Mm. It becomes a tradition. It becomes something that is supported to a point where if you're innocent, right? And then you happen to be under those circumstances, they make it so normal around you. They're almost kind of celebrated. So, so that you can accept what's happening to you as if it's a normal thing. And the moment you accept what's happening to you like it's a normal thing, automatically you're put in a position, you're also participating in it. And the rapists, the rapists like that or the abusers like that, they don't stop. And they teach you how to protect their ways. Now we say we in you know, you need to make sure everything is to the T. So when a rapist engages you in their dirty ways, this thing, because you're told to be no value, you're told to go to feel. And it disturbs, it disturbs the, the whole, the whole, you know, process. It really does to a point where probably six months into the training, you even forgot to you need to fight, you know, you are here for spiritual battle. There's lots the happening. Sister. There's so lots happening. Still in life, man. Mm. So, so you 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 sexually submitting. You now have a special husband that you need to sexually submit to. Now, beginning in a match, you're working up. So, still in life, you you are shifted away from the whole spiritual content and 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 you know the authenticity mm. of his intermediates in initiation schools. Mm. They drive you all away from it, and now you're engaging in this sexual tradition that happens in that initiation school. Mm. Only when you break free, Baba, when you start discovering other people's initiation schools that are changing. This is wrong. That's when you identify with no man. Mm. Mm. This is wrong. I go, Marama, Parat, it's a tradition. You, tra you can't see anything. But when you break free, that's when you get an awakening with no. What has happened to me there was wrong. It's what wrong. happened to me there was wrong. That day, it shouldn't have happened. It's wrong. And I won't blame myself today just because I was caught up in that tradition mm. where I was groomed into participating in when i find my freedom that's when i found my voice and once once in reflection in reflection of such events that uh, happen that happen in that space you you will find that um, the the, 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 the as you are rightfully saying that you may actually end up pregnant sexually mm. transmitted diseases you may end up actually derailed from your path altogether it may slow you down in some certain ways or the other. When you come back after the break, let us hear much more about the initiation schools. Not only the bad things happening there, there's also lots of good things that are happening mm -hmm. in the initiation schools. And with me, uh, two um, uh, indigenous healers here. I don't want to call them traditional healers. Let's call them indigenous, <laughs> indigenous healers. Stay with us. We'll be with you right after the break. Make massive moves. Isn't that your uh, daughter's bib? But the truth is, I feel like Arabella's always with me. Don't you ever forget this man's face. He killed your brother. Make massive moves with Star's Head. Welcome back, welcome back, Babu Vilakazi, on my extreme uh, right, and uh, next to me here, uh, Yolanda Dandala. Dandala, Yolanda Dandala. All of them having gone through initiation schools, and it's our opportunity 
to hear exactly what what's happening inside these uh, schools. Many parents, when they are troubled about their health of their children, uh, in some cases it is recommended that these children must be taken for initiation to some govelas, to some initiators. And uh, as she is rightfully putting it, it doesn't mean that all the govelas out there are evil, but though some of them, of course, we cannot hide, some of them, the big Makoyas themselves, have a problem. Because they have some demons that they have not dealt with themselves. But even then, the people that are working with the, with the Gobela, the people that are working with the traditional or indigenous healer, uh, those that are playing the drums, those that are assisting, some of these young men are of a sexual, activity, sexual active age group. And if they go unmonitored, as she is rightfully putting us, she is actually a surviving victim of a rape case within the indigenous uh, training school and initiation processes. And she condemns it that what happened there was totally wrong. But we want to reflect again and see how, how would you know how would you know that this will be a dangerous place? Is there some basic research one could do before they enter into an initiation school? Are there, are there any precautionary measures? Is it Obvious. Is it always given in your Zilang visa and tomorrow morning, boom, you're running into a Govela school to go and, and twasa there? Or do, 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 I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, to be, to be a bit uh, savvy here. Mm -hmm. Where is it, is it, is it, is it acceptable that actually you can do a background check to the school before you go there or wherever the Josie leads you? That's where you must end up. <laughs> I don't know about like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it would be wise to into a final resource for this band. Mm -hmm. uh, it being into a spiritual as what I figure about in work fun. I feel it's it's best what now where you find it what as a family, as mm -hmm. umtoana or an older person, mm -hmm. so it was a seven and she like what is what I like book. So tell a book because. Okay. This journey, it's not ours. Mm -hmm. So I think it's it's best to go so can is consult mm -hmm. Have have maybe different opinions from different uh, healers. Mm -hmm. Have a different experience from different healers. Mm -hmm. So that now we mobu elikaya na bazali or on by yourself if mm -hmm. you you have an understanding you would finally go to consult it back to those people about to mobu to uyo wenza lento oyenza because. Mm -hmm. If so now involved with the Mogogo who are sending you there, yes, you it's need to consult with the spiritual, the spiritual people who are sending you there before you go there. Logo guba lega cool more than anything. However, it's not always the case. Oguti amadlozi as tata asise enda weni because of afunesu safari. For me, na in in my opinion, he experienced a gogo. Right now, she's 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 having an initiation, an initiative. Oguti a a. I empower people who go through such things. Mm. It was an experience with Abu Koko. Abe, maybe if he hangs us and Jan, Abe is stable with Sabanya Bantu. Oguti yena going through that experience. You see the Abanya Bantu. Because I'm actually while he's talking, something is running in my head.